Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather today on this Memorial Day, bring together our, our lives and our faith, and we come before the Lord to pray for our country and to pray for peace. As we do that, we call upon his presence with us. We know him as our God of peace, our God of love, and we rely on his mercy once again. Lord Jesus, you and the Father are one. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you sent the Holy Spirit to guide us on the way to the kingdom. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, we are baptized into your family. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of the world, under whose governance the design for all the ages unfolds, be attentive, we pray, to our petitions and grant to our times tranquility and peace, that we may exalt with unceasing joy in praise of your great mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, Have you received the Holy Spirit and became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is the Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the, uh, the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied, although there were about 12 men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning again, and I wish you a blessed Memorial Day, uh, certainly. And as we uh, gather on this Memorial Day, uh, we certainly pray for all who have given their lives and service of our country um, and the many, many people who have served our armed forces and have served uh, in the cause of our freedom. Um, a, a huge debt of gratitude is owed to them, as we all know. And even as we do that, um, our gospel passage today kind of nicely intersects with that. Uh, as the Lord, uh, in talking to his disciples, talks about his ultimate uh, dream, his ultimate promise uh, for all of humanity, and that would be that we be at peace, right? So as we think about this and, and apply this even in our own lives, certainly we pray for peace in our world. Uh, we want that. Uh, we want a world without war. We want a world where people are uh, peacefully coexisting and working together and, and furthering uh, the good of humanity. Um, but also on some different levels, right? We're going to pray for. We like to pray for peace, even in our own hearts, as we struggle from time to time uh, to experience that, or peace in our own homes, or, or in our, our, our neighborhoods, in our uh, country, and ultimately in our world. Um, and as we think about those who have died, especially those who have served our country, we pray that they know Christ's eternal peace. And, and so it gives us something really good to focus on, uh, a, a great point for prayer as we take this with us as we go today, um, and, and hopefully as we celebrate this day that we take some time to honor. Um, and so I'm so glad you're here today, but there will be different events around town, there are different opportunities for us to call that to mind, uh, to pray for those who have served, uh, those who continue to serve, and ultimately to pray for peace, uh, that, that we might not lose anybody else in war. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Um, and so we rely on the Lord's, the Lord's promise today. We remember that, that Jesus has this dream for humanity, and let's do what we can to bring about that reality. Uh, to, to speak those words of peace and to, to live as a people of peace, to live as a people who avoid um, those little conflicts that can happen uh, throughout the day, and also to broaden that scale and to continue to pray for peace in our world uh, and, and, and peace in our, in our country as well. So as we gather and we come together for this Mass, of course, the Lord comes to us. He speaks to us his word. He comes to us in the form of his, uh, his sacred body and blood. We ask the Lord to, to dwell within us, to become more and more a part of us, and to give us that gift that he promises today, that gift of peace uh, that, that seems so elusive at times, but yet reachable if we can just uh, pray, pray enough and ask the Lord to, to work with us and give us what we need to cooperate with his grace to bring about that, that wonderful peace that he promises. So we, we ask the Lord today uh, for all of those gifts and to come before us and to know and help us to know that he is with us uh, in the midst of all of this. What a greater, what a greater wish we have, right, than, than to ask for that peace that Christ promises. It's within reach, and we ask the Lord to help us uh, to, to know it, and to exercise it and to experience it more fully today. Together, let's stand and offer our petitions to our loving God. For the church, may the Lord raise up holy men and women to lead and teach in his name, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the nations of the world and for those who, are in, who endeavor to lead them, in truth and justice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who cannot practice their religion openly, may God grant them fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit help us grow even deeper in our faith in God and our love for each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially August and Olivia Amos, May they rest in peace in the light of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For all who have served in the military, especially for those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Father Tony, on his first anniversary as ordination of, to the priesthood, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's take a moment to offer our own personal intentions to God. And for these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we gather in your name and we give you thanks for all the ways that you bless us. We ask you to watch over us, watch over our country, watch over, watch over all who have served and continue to serve us. Hear our prayers as we offer them. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
my spiritual communion this morning. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that, sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hope you have a, a, a good day and an enjoyable day. The Lord be with you. May God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace and proclaim the gospel. Thanks be to God.